Hey what's up everybody, by now you've seen a few videos from me covering new cases for the Galaxy S7 Edge. Today I've got 4 top cases by Oblique and if you've never heard of them you'll definitely want to take a look at this video. This is the first time I'm covering their cases on the channel, Enan here from Udroid Mania and you're watching my Oblique case review. First up, we have the Naked Shield in clear. This is a two part case made from a flexible TPU bumper and a polycarbonate hard back. For protection, you've heard me say this before, but you'll want a case that can absorb shock in a fall. The install was a little tricky, it took two attempts, but here it is. Starting on the right hand side, the power button is elevated so you're gonna feel it. On the bottom you'll find precise cutouts and we'll take a look at those later since this is the first time for Oblique on the channel. Here's the volume up and down, again slightly raised, and up top you've got the cutout for the noise cancelling microphone. These air pockets here will help with shock absorbency. Note to self, clean your phone when you have a clear case because the fingerprints are gonna show through. You may think the kickstand is made of plastic like I initially did, but it's metal, a nice touch. And there's also some oblique branding here. Underneath, there's two magnets here to keep the kickstand in place when it's closed, so you don't have to worry about it flopping around. When it comes to the bezel at 1.5mm that seems a little close to the display so I'm not sure that you're going to get that lay on the table support with this case face down. From this angle you can see what I mean. Taking a look at the back of the case, the camera cutout looks good enough with room to get your thumb in here and you can rest assured that your camera is protected. When I tested the buttons, they're pretty firm but they also respond. There's no issues plugging in your micro USB cable and normal sized headphones also work with this case no problem. Removing this case was a little easier than putting it on, it's got a nice tight fit. Next up, we'll quickly take a look at the Naked Shield but with a black TPU bumper this time. Right away, I gotta say I'm feeling this black, I think it looks a lot better. Installation is exactly the same as the first. The difference here is that the black bumper seems to be made of a harder TPU than the clear, at least from what I can feel. When it comes to the buttons on this case, I'm thinking they just might be the best that I felt out of the last 12 cases that I reviewed. Here's the kickstand again, it's made out of zinc and it's a really nice added touch. A quick look at the back, I like how the colors play. As far as appearances go, the black looks like it has a thicker bezel than the clear and in my book that's more support. Next we'll move on to the Flex Pro. This is a one piece case and on the inside you've got a diamond patterned TPU for shock absorption and on the outside you've got a PU leather. If you're not sure what that means, basically it's not real leather and this case was laser texturized so that you get a consistent look across the back. The power button is a little stiff which causes me to use a bit more force. I did notice the same thing with the volume up and down buttons so hopefully this is something that gets better with time and a little bit more use. You have accurate cutouts both on the bottom and the top of the case and on the back there's a deep enough well to scan your finger. This case does have a 2mm lip but I think you're still going to need a protector. Lastly we have the Slim Meta series. This is a two part case and it's got that same diamond pattern TPU inner lining along with a polycarbonate shell. Installation, it's super fast and very easy. So let's start by looking at the back. This case is designed to be super slim, only adding 3mm to the overall thickness of the phone. It's got a metallic brushed finish with a thin bezel. It too has those oversized cutouts on the bottom, so you should be able to use third party accessories without issue. Up top no issues, but I will mention that the lip on this case comes in at 1.5mm which is less than the previous case so it's something to consider. The buttons here provide a decent amount of feedback, feeling responsive, and finally I'll leave you with this case does feel pretty good in the hand and I think that's due to its thin profile. This was my first time trying out and reviewing the Oblique brand and overall I'm liking what I see here. Their kickstand series may be one of the best implementations out there. It seems like these cases were made with protection in mind up front followed by their usefulness and style. In case you're wondering, I am currently using the S7 Edge as my daily driver. With their slim profile these cases easily fit into the pockets of a relaxed pair of jeans as I'm showing here or even a low rise pair where the pockets have a little less room. Overall, I think these cases are rather expensive right now if you buy them from Oblique directly, so I got mine from Amazon and the links are down below in the description. Ask me all the questions you want in the comments below because I do read each and every one of them and I also respond to them all. Okay, so there you have it. Are you interested in any of these cases? Leave a comment down below. 
I'll be having a giveaway in the coming weeks, which includes these cases and more. So make sure that you subscribe so that you can be entered later on. I've already completed three videos for the S7 Edge and I've got three or so more coming. So if you haven't seen them, make sure that you check those out and pick your favorite. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And as always, I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in my next one.